you very much. If you love hoops, it doesn't get much better than this. It's March. We have a bracket. We have a dozen teams in Brooklyn thinking about lifting a trophy on Sunday. And a pair of proud Atlantic 10 teams to kick it off. Davidson and St. Bonaventure in the eights against nine game to kick it off. Thanks for being with us. Not a single point or a minute played returning from last year's team. Matt McKillop, you recognize him on the Davidson sideline. 19th season he's been there. Four as a player, 14 as an assistant. But Tim, this is the first year he has taken over for his legendary father, Bob, who was the head coach since 1989. Yeah, I'm expecting a mid-tempo pace, two man-to-man -man defensive squads head-to-head. -head. Not if it's as windy as it was yesterday and this morning here in Brooklyn. Both what? teams coming in, exact eight and 10 records in the Atlantic 10. There's Benning inside, his first shot is up and in. You're, you're right, Paul, they need an outlier, somebody you don't necessarily expect to get to double figures. Benenga made just one out of seven over the weekend. Shot clock down to one, and his first shot is in. Missed his first shot, and this is Grant Huff. When you talk about the outliers, I think he could be the one. Assist inside, and the first bucket for Reed Bailey. Candidate to be that outlier scorer. Banks got that step to the hoop. Couldn't cash it in the first time. He cleans it up. Lawyer with the ball now. Top 10 in the 8, 10 points. Minutes played, assists, steals. Finds Menenga, and he's two for two. St. Bonaventure lost six of the last seven games. They knocked down a three there. Jan Farrell, he's hit more threes in the Atlantic 10 than any freshman in the regular season. It's hit the last game. That took place over the weekend. His shoot has gotten better as the season's gotten longer. There's his first three. You're seeing Grant Huffman play more point guard. That allows Foster Lawyer to become a combo guard and move off the ball. This afternoon, St. Bonaventure did have this game tied at nine. Davidson to score the last five points. Jan Farrell has a pair of threes. sense um, why are they ignoring Chad Benning they just allowed Banks to go to the baseline that was pretty up and under reverse he has four points same thing moments earlier lawyer quick first step for the layup let's watch Benning you've been saying that he's been opening up inside and they haven't been getting in the ball he's setting a pick up top there he is all you got to do is ask for it, too. Well, well, and keep an eye on Benning, too. I'm telling you, you get him the ball, he defends. Look, he's in a stance. He's covering at the three-point line. He's going to be much better if he's involved. Team high four rebounds. David Skogman. Easy flush and a chance for three. Yeah, I like the dunk. I like it a lot. But I love the pass. Drop step dunk sends a major message. You know, a dunk just like in transition, that's good if it, if it happens kind of randomly. But to drop step and throw it down like that is really impressive. Skogman completes the three point play. Hoffman back to Lawyer, five to shoot. And that's a long two. Clearly, the emphasis for Davidson. Lawyer, Meninga combined for 15 points. This is Desmond Watson. And that's a great start for the Wildcats. Mid-February, Davidson won by 13 at home in that game. Meninga, Lawyer, 51. You mentioned Magic Johnson a moment ago. How about that little running hook in the lane from Flowers? Oh, be careful, you know, somebody's gonna say, hey, Paul thinks that Flowers <laughs> is as good as Magic Johnson. So they've won six consecutive games coming in. Great hands by Huffman in the hustle. And picked up by Bailey and picked off by Luke. Up ahead to Banks. Goaltending two points. Defense is not good for Davidson with Menenga and Lawyer both on the bench. And we've got a ball game, people. With that hesitation step and the touch off the glass. Getting it done for Luke. Deficit at six. Desmond Watson has the most in this game at 15. Crazy shot by Luke, and a rebound, Venning. Best stretch of their Atlantic 10 regular season. Good spin move there by Huffman for two more. Crown tomorrow. 
after an 11-point win over ninth-seeded St. Bonaventure. Matt McKillop wins his first A-10 tournament game as the head coach. And Mark Schmidt and the Bonnies will go home uncharacteristic fashion. First season in the last nine where they won't make it to 20 wins. First final, the first of four in the books today. Davidson wins by 11. George Mason with those six consecutive wins will take on Richmond here coming up next. And then this evening, you can also watch George Washington, St. Joe's, Duquesne, and LaSalle. Davidson moves on to take on VCU tomorrow. Those top four seeds won't play. They'll play for the first time coming up there tomorrow.